So now we have seen that uh, you know very high level uh, what uh, test plan would contain in RQM, and so uh, as a testing process, the main uh, the important uh, uh, other two important things are uh, test cases and uh, test scripts. Okay, so test cases uh, you can define in uh, you know uh, in RQM uh, like as you all are all aware test cases means okay is a goal. Uh, with a, you know, it tells you to what functional uh, uh, functional functionality you need to test uh, in your product. Okay. So, and test script uh, test script is you know a set of instructions uh, it gives uh, to exhibition of your for exhibition of your test cases. For example, if you are a manual tester, you would have your sp spreadsheet where spreadsheet gives you information about uh, navigation where you need to navigate on the your screen uh, and which functionality you should test and it, it will have also have expected result uh, and also actual result and also you mark whether the test case is passed or failed. So that is that kind of an uh, uh, you know instruction and we also call it as a test script. So that similar kind of uh, instruction we can also define in uh, RQM and we can attach to test cases. So test cases doesn't mean that okay uh, you, you can directly run that but test case always contains the test script. Okay and test script can be either a manual test script or uh, automation test script. So manual test script means you have a set of instruction you go to the screen and manually you, done, you do it. Automation means uh, you have your automation scripts uh, for example you have a functional regression testing tool called IBM or RFP is a rational functional tester. Like if you take another vendor like HPQTP is also there, it's a functional regression tool. You can have a scripts generated in the, in that tool, uh, automation tool, and you can pull all those uh, 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 scripts into RQM and also uh, you can attach those scripts into test cases. So that whenever you have you trigger your uh, execution, you execute your uh, automation test case and target machine should have that uh, particular tool installed on that machine and uh, your execution happens uh, automatically. Okay. So you can also import uh, test artifacts from external test management solutions like uh, if you are using some of the legacy tools like ClearQuest, the test manager, Azure Rational Test Manager, you can always you know uh, import, export those artifacts and import into RQM if you are planning to uh, move to the newer version of test management tool. So this is a <coughs> sample uh, screenshot for uh, test cases and its design. Uh, similar to a test plan, it has a different sections over here. We have uh, summary sections, we have test script section here where you can attach your uh, script for that uh, test case. So it can be a your manual script or automation uh, uh, script. And we have test case design. Test case design tells you you know how do you design your uh, test case? Design means okay, you go to this screen and go, go here, execute this flow, and set of instructions. Okay, and also you can generate your manual test script using test case design automatically. And the next screenshot shows this is a, a screenshot where you create your uh, test scripts. As you can see on this screen, there are uh, uh, a sample uh, login script. Uh, the first uh, step would be like login. And log out, you can add as many as steps you want, and also you can define your expected results over here. Also, you can see there is some section here test data. So, test data means uh, the data which you are, uh, uh, for example, you have some screen, and uh, that screen you want to test your uh, functionality for different set of data. So, you know, often it is called as uh, data driven testing. And this is uh, this test data can be formed uh, as a CSV file externally and uh, can be imported into RQM. So this test data can be uh, reused across the different test script. So so that whenever you want to uh, run this particular step for the test data, I can just uh, select a drop down over here. In the drop down, you would get uh, you know other test data uh, as well. Can select the required appropriate test data, test it for. So how does it? How do you basically? Okay, once you associate test data, how do you use that in a script? Okay, so there is one uh, 
uh, option here associate test uh, data columns here this is a step one and I want to use uh, ID one and password one uh, as a variable you know in my script and th those variables would contain uh, different rows I mean different set of data you know as soon as you click on this it would uh, provide you a menu uh, where you can select a uh, columns data columns so I have selected the ID and password data columns that would get populated here so that at runtime when you run your test case uh, at runtime so these uh, actual variables would be replaced by actual values so that on this screen you can uh, have the test data uh, enter and you can test your functionality. 